So, Catherine awesome. Gray, welcome to the show. Thank you. This is an unusual uh, treat for me. You were saying earlier you're doing your podcast, which was Live, Love, and Thrive, and it's now Invest in Her. Yeah, I relaunched it as Invest in Her because everything in my platform is all about how we need to invest in women and how underfunded women are. Mm -hmm. So I just decided to rebrand. Now, when you say um, women are underfunded, I have a sense of it, but maybe we could even just take a look at what does that mean? Sure, I'd love to. I'm just, in fact, this morning I'm working on this TED Talk I'm doing November 28th, and it's all about the statistics of that. Mm -hmm. And so... A lot of people don't know that we get less than 3% of venture capital funding. That means men get 97%, and we get less than 15% of traditional funding, like angel investing. I guess what I'm trying to understand, so I'm more informed, is, you know, why is it then in this modern day when women, clearly in their 30s, have been told their whole life, easily, whatever you want to do, I would think. I mean, I grew Mm -hmm. up with that messaging. Mm -hmm. I went to college on an athletic scholarship. 18 years after Title IX. So I've received all those mm-hmm. benefits of the women before me who you know, lobbied for those rights. Right. What is it that, why are they only getting 3% of the money? Well, glad you asked. Uh, the reason is, is because 90% of the financial decisions are made by white men. And people tend to invest in people that they identify with. And so, therefore, if most of the decision makers are men, Mm. then most of the recipients are white men. I see. And so that's where the disparity lies, and that's why my TED Talk is basically about how we need to get more women decision makers into the funding world, whether that means working at venture capital firms, because 85% of venture capital firms have no female decision makers. Right. Um, So that that takeaway there is that we've got to have more women in that arena. Uh And then also, I just want to really be a big advocate for telling successful women, because there's so many of them like yourself out there, Mm -hmm. that they need to be angel investors and invest in other women. And and that's a beautiful legacy to leave, to, to invest in other women that are creating amazing, game-changing products out there that can't get funding. What an incredible opportunity. Yeah. And I think what's so strange for me when I hear this, you know, I feel like a good idea is a good idea. I don't think it has a gender. I don't think it has a race. I think it's like if, and, and you know this, when you get capital from any company, the amount of analytics that they drill down on is insanity. Mm -hmm. Like it's numbers, right? Yes. And so you think, okay, well, why would you not apply the template for the idea, do your homework like they do, and just look at the numbers? Um, You would think so. Right. Because Mm -hmm. it's, you know, it seems in a way, what I say about business, it's so interesting on both sides. Mm -hmm. Um, It's competitive. And we oftentimes associate competitiveness with masculinity, Mm -hmm. right? It's a competitive environment, arena. However, a good idea is a good idea. You know, women that have uh, applied for money have told me a couple different things. And one is uh, that they are asked different questions in a different way about their business than men are. Like with men, it'll be like, well, how big can it be? And this will be, well, how will you survive? You know, kind of you know, so you'd think it would just be number crunching. You're right. But you know, it, and and then it goes back to what I mentioned before, mm. identifying with the person. It's just the same thing like an old boys club. People are going to deal with people that they identify with. Yeah. And that's why more women have to be at the funding table. Right. And so I'm really on a mission to get women to look into, there's all these new angel investor groups for women, and they will they will educate them on how to be an angel investor. And it doesn't cost a lot of money. I mean, it, there are varying levels of it. That's right. Yeah, for the most part, I do encourage women to get behind women because yeah. I think, you know, we had grown up in a culture where it was always competitive because there was only one or two places at mm. the table for women. And so then they became competitive instead of helping each mm. other like men do. Men help each other. And that's the, what we have to cultivate a culture of is women helping women. 